Ports along the BC coastline are behind picket lines tonight. Longshore foremen have gone out on strike. What they've done is uh, went out on the job yesterday and leafleted our membership, uh, saying that they're going to implement uh, the Mark Thompson report as of next The 450 month. longshore foremen have been without a contract for 27 months. Union President Doug Sigurdsson says the strike comes after the employers group rejected the union's offer to send some outstanding issues to binding arbitration. That's totally unacceptable to us, and thank God that Thompson's report is a non-binding report because there's no way we're going to accept it. He says the Waterfront Employers Association instead indicated it would be invoking the report of conciliator Mark Thompson. We don't want any part of that report. It's uh, totally one-sided, slanted toward the employers, and uh, that's uh, precisely why they want to invoke The employer won't give us a contract. After 27 months, we'd hope that we'd have a contract, and they aren't giving us one. So, I guess we've got to do the next thing and push back a little. How are you feeling tonight? Well, lousy. You know, not only is it cold and wet, but I still don't have a collective agreement, and then we've had to come to this. Nobody wants to shut Vancouver and pour it down. At least we don't, not 514. And is that, do you think this will make a difference? I hope so. Or, you know, everybody's wasting their time, so I damn well hope so. Sigurdsson says they have the power to invoke the report, and in response, the union has the power to go on strike. The labor dispute will shut down ports in the lower mainland, Vancouver Island, Prince Rupert, and Squamish. Well, 514 was, uh, the concept uh, came from the United States, the idea of uh, organized foreman supervisors. But it was originally started by a fellow called Leo Lubinsky, and it was actually in 1948. And uh, <clears throat> there were some efforts during the 50s to get the foreman organized, but uh, the uh, employers, um, a lot of the American employers were assisting the Canadian employers in those days to keep the union out of here. And uh, in the 60s, early 60s, uh, Harry Bridges came up and uh, made an attempt to get the foreman organized. And almost did at, at one point in time. But in uh, uh, bargaining with Longshore, uh, our organizing attempts got confused with that. So uh, uh, it was left by the wayside. The, uh, we got our charter in 1962 from the International. And uh, from there, we slowly started to uh, organize foremen. I was a longshoreman in those days, Local 501. And uh, we would organize as many foremen as we could for the, uh, for the good of the industry, as we thought, uh, for the good of the union, I guess. 